It's giant and no longer taken very seriously at all. Outdated, yet everyone seems to have one sitting on their desk. It is that office desk phone, and it just will not go away. So, so many devices have, uh, have evolved, yet the desk phone stays the same. Big, clunky, seldom used. Wall Street Journal says 54% uh, of U.S. homes mm -hmm. didn't have landlines in 2017. So we wanted to know, do you know how to even use the phone that's on your desk, and do you prefer to simplify to oh. take a smaller device? Autumn, who's on the other side of the camera, is shaking her head. She has absolutely no idea how to use it, and she's not alone. No, I have no, I have no clue. I know how to pick it up. Right. I don't know how to put anyone on hold. Sure. I don't know right. how to transfer a call. I don't know how to make a page to anyone. Mm -hmm. Haven't had to do those things, no, and know. nor did I get like a, a rundown of here's how it works, here's right. what to press, yeah. and so. I don't know. I like that I have it. It's convenient, especially because like we can call each other from different mm -hmm. parts of the building. We can speak with our editor sure. and whatnot. So. I know how to dial out. I also know how to dial out to an outside right. number. Right. Yeah, that Those I know how to really do. Those are really the only things no, I No, that I know how to do, but I've, somebody said before to me, can you page someone? And I'm like, oh. <laughs> Ooh. Don't know how really Just go to throughout do. the building. I just go, hello! Does anyone see Larry? <laughs> hello, who's out there? Yeah, I don't know how to do, I don't know how to do that. Yeah. And then here, there's two different two different rings. Like if it's an outside <laughs> call or if it's an inside call and nothing spreads panic through an office like, ooh, is that an outside call, inside call? What do we do? What do, mm -hmm. do we pick it up? Do we not pick it up? How do you do this? I like I like answering it. Yeah, you do. Like it's you like take a, a risk. Yeah. <laughs> it's like and you always go, here we go. Here we go. Let's you never go. know who's gonna be on We're the other end. We're going in. Right. But uh, now it's all telemarketers, no right. matter what sort of well, phone even you here, have. There's a lot of yes. crazy calls. Yes. That are coming. Or it's through. like you have a voicemail and I get excited. Right. I still get excited for voicemails. And then you listen to them and it's like Yes, hello. This is uh, regarding your student loans. I'm like, no, it's not. Yes. I hang up the phone yeah. and I delete it. Right. Or how would you like to go on a Caribbean cruise? You right. know, that's usually the usually the mm -hmm. other way. To, the best thing in the world, and I, I don't know if, if you use this, is even on the cell phone now. If you get a uh, 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 message mm -hmm. on the cell phone, like Just a block the number. No, well, you can block the number, but also like even if it's a voice message on the phone, it translates what the message is. So you can look at it and go, nope. I don't want to do that. Wow. Yeah, you can just block it out. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, that's cool. really nice. Yeah. I don't think I get that on my iPhone yeah, 5. Yeah, no, I think you do get it on your iPhone 5. I think you I'll do. I'll try. I'll I try and I, look. I think you do. Yeah, I, I don't know. I know other people who have de uh, phones on the desk. Mm -hmm. Their voicemail has been filled up for months, maybe years, and they yeah. don't even bother. Or people who don't even answer email at exactly. all. Exactly. Well, I think now so much is done via email. Right. And also pagers. I think doctors still have pagers. Do. I but I think it's that. actually, well, it, it kind of makes sense for yeah. what they do. Right. Anyways, uh, let's send things over to Brendan to see what he has to say. Oh, you know, oh he's on the phone. Oh, hang on. Sorry. Oh, you'd like to speak to Will Gilbert? Want me to put you through to I, Michaela Johnson? Guys, are you here? I'm not here. No, no, no. I'll take it. All right, I'll transfer you to Michaela Johnson. You're right, though. I don't know how to transfer any. Well, not plugged in. That's probably why I'm having a problem over here. But it's true. This thing sits on our desk. It's clunky. We don't know what to do with it. And it's just. It's an obstruction, right? Right. <laughs> At the desk, I need more space for my pens and all of my beanie babies or whatever I have. <laughs> Well, what do our friends out there have to say? Do they like the phone? How are they communicating these days? Well, I picked up this handy-dandy device and called them before the show. In reality, I just checked Facebook. Martha, Mark Anthony Simonson is up first. I prefer to speak on the telephone. However, the ability to text makes for a short and sweet conversation. Absolutely. Robert Thibault shares next. There is no doubt that text and email is the way to go. It's faster, which makes it necessary to come to the point quickly. Quickly? We got to move it along, that's right. Josephine Slop adds, doesn't seem that long ago, early 80s, that I was answering an old-fashioned office switchboard with cords at an insurance company. One ringy dingy, yes. And Linda Shortman closes things out for us today. Email with our customers is the most efficient way to communicate, but every once in a while a customer gets me on the phone and the conversation is very pleasant. I still like human contact. Absolutely. Thanks, everyone. We love it when you chime in. Please leave your comments in the Buzz Topic each morning on Facebook. Facebook, and we may even read yours right here on the show. You can also like and follow us on Twitter and Instagram. All, all of those are easily found at the Roadshow. For now, I'm going to find a place to plug this in and attempt to transfer a call to Michaela, who's in the kitchen. She's not a baby.